Hi and welcome to the show. <laughs> Let's party everyone. Okay. Hi guys and welcome to 3 Minute John. <laughs> and now the news. Google Chrome has a fresh new look. A few days ago, the Chrome browser celebrated its 10th birthday. Happy birthday to you. And with it, Google launched the newest version of the browser with rounded tabs, a new mobile layout, and an upgraded password manager. Among the changes, we also have fresh new colors, updated icons, and the address bar. Now, when you search for something, it might give you the answer directly in the bar without having to open another tab. Ah, uh, just remembered I have an unpaid tab at the local bar. Happy birthday to you. The best thing about the upgrade is the password manager that won't let you use the same password for every website. Now I understand why you would do that because having just one password is easier to remember. And God knows I have a bad memory. Today is our anniversary, you son of a bitch! A very bad memory. But Chrome will fix that by letting you generate a strong and random password when you sign up to a new website and will store your password inside the secure Google account and sync them across devices. And of course, you'll need a separate password manager if you're signing in on third-party apps. But as a Chrome user, I really like this feature. Way to go, Chrome. Keeping it safe and secure. Happy birthday, dear Chrome. Mozilla Firefox got nothing on you. <laughs> Next week, we will see the new iPhones. September 12th is the day that Apple will announce the new iPhone lineup that has been leaked massively. Well, not as massive as the Pixel 3 leaks. So let's recap some of the iPhone rumors. We might get a new gold color, so it will look more precious. The new Apple Watch also might get a gold frame option. Precious. There will be three iPhone models because Apple tries to cover more of the smartphone market so that not only the rich will have access to that Apple logo. Precious. The displays will be protected by Gorilla Glass 6, which will be more durable, but it will still break like glass. I wonder how high does the Gorilla Glass numbers have to be in order to be shatterproof. The names of the devices will be iPhone XS, iPhone XS Plus and iPhone 11 or 9 or 3MJ. What? It's a leak from a very reliable source. This guy. But you can call the iPhone XS the iPhone 6 because be sure it's gonna f*** up your wallet. Everything should be improved on the new devices and we'll talk more about them after the event. But until then, tell me in the comments what do you expect from the new iPhones? What would you like them to improve from previous models? What names would you give the new iPhones? And is 3MJ a good name for an iPhone? Yes. Yes, it is. It's precious. The wearable smartphone of the future. Or is it? If foldable phones were not enough, now we'll have a bendable wristband smartphone watch thing. Uh, okay. Nubia, a Chinese company that grew out of ZTE, but now it's its own separate company, has presented at IFA Berlin a revolutionary device that they say is the future of mobile devices. Yeah, they all say that. Talk is cheap. I'm the future of tech news. See? It's called Nubia Alpha, it has a long OLED display that wraps around your wrist and the functions of a smartphone running on Android. But with that screen, I think it's a very personalized version of Android. It has a selfie cam that you can also use to make video calls and that's about it. The manufacturer didn't release any specs yet, but they promised to do so very soon. It will go on sale in China in a few months and by the end of the year, it will be available worldwide. Now, uh, that's ambitious. But again, talk is cheap. I will have 100,000 subscribers by the end of this year! Yeah, sure. Now, it looks cool, but I don't think that this type of device is very practical and I don't think that many people will buy it. Even Apple didn't do so well with the cellular version of the Apple Watch. And that's because you can't really use it as a phone when it's tied to your wrist. Hello? Oh, hi, Suzanne. Earl! Yeah? Suzanne wants to speak with you! Sure thing! Hey, girl. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, baby, I missed you too. <laughs> For sure. <laughs> I'm not saying it's a bad device, I just don't think it's practical. The only people that might want this device are the ones that don't have pockets for a regular phone. Or the joggers that run daily. Which, by the way, a true fact, they are not human. 
It is not natural to run daily. It is not natural to run at all. What are you running from? What are you afraid of? Just walk slowly and embrace the fat. Embrace it. Precious. <laughs> This was the show. Thanks again very much for watching. Remember to subscribe if you haven't. Leave a comment below. Follow me on Instagram. Follow me on Facebook. I'm John. Until next week, keep it safe and secure. Cheers. Hey, you dirty girl. Yeah, I'm gonna take good care of you. Yeah. You've been a bad girl, haven't you? Yeah. You uh, uh, okay, wait, wait a sec. Wait, wait. Oh, my God. Oh, sh uh, please, just. Hello? Yeah, baby, it worked. Got myself a brand new wash phone thing. Hooey. <laughs>